hi everyone welcome back to another youtube video i'm excited for this weekend's vlog it is friday night i just finished up work so i did the whole like typical run around like a chicken with my head cut off like doing my dishes taking out my trash cleaning uh showered i'm feeling like a sophisticated lady tonight <laughs> because i'm wearing my uh my, my white button-up shirt i did a little red lip and like some gold earrings and a little bit of eyeliner <laughs> and um, i'm actually about to go out to dinner with my boyfriend so i think we're gonna take his car and go over to brooklyn and just find a random place to go eat dinner so i'm kind of excited for that um so yeah i'm just gonna i guess put my purse together throw my shoes on and run out the door oh let me show you what lipstick i'm wearing i just got this lipstick today it's from estee lauder and it's called i don't even know what it is because it was free it was like a full-size lipstick that was free because i bought the advanced night repair serum and then i bought this light brown eyeliner that i put on top of my eyes here and they gave me like a free gift with purchase and it had all of these like mini versions of all of their like skincare and stuff and then it was this in it and it just says on it kiss 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 estee lauder actually maybe it has a color pure color envy and then it says rebellious rose so that's it and i really like it i wasn't so sure but it's actually a very pretty red it um seems to work so yes i think i'm gonna throw this in my bag to just reapply this is my outfit yes i am wearing jeans it is freezing outside and i'm kind of randomly getting into jeans a little bit more recently so jeans yay <laughs> gonna just throw on my shoes and go out the door here is my outfit and yeah I think I'm just liking it like this and um, the shoes that I decided on are just some flats I have little nude ones and then I'm just gonna throw this jacket on got dinner in Brooklyn we ended up finding this random place called I think it was like something Verde but it was like had really good wine and um, like Italian food so that was nice I got like a mac and cheese it was like a three cheese mac and cheese and I had to do it it was so good but yeah and then that was pretty much the whole night last night and then this morning I just put on this little um, like pink shirt and i did my makeup and we're about to go out to brunch at this place called sunny boy in the lower east side it's like an australian place so we're gonna have brunch there and the menu looks really good so i'm really excited to try it and the lower east side well we can like totally walk there from here so yeah it's like a beautiful sunny saturday morning 
and oh yes um also last night before i like you know was running around doing all my errands i bought some like body lotion and another natural deodorant <laughs> that i wanted to show you guys i think that this one actually might be the best one that i've tried so far this one is from necessary so it's called yeah necessary the deodorant le deodorant in eucalyptus it looks like this it's like a you basically like twist this off and then it's like that and you do it and then you know <laughs> put it on and it smells really good it smells like eucalyptus uh i don't know if that means that it has like eucalyptus essential oils in there i hope not but maybe one percent for the planet so yeah i thought i'd update you guys it's multi-acid deodorize protect comfort it seems like one of the only ones that i've tried that actually does work i think i like it a little bit better than the clean dio one although the clean dio one i love the scent of that one but this one's just a little bit of a different formula and i think it's a little bit stronger so i've been using it since friday so i used it like last night and this morning and so far good things so i will keep you guys updated on it also, I got this from the same brand, Necessary. This is a body lotion, and I've been wanting to get this for a while. I just was like, I didn't know where to get it, and like, I guess I just didn't want to make an order online just for one little lotion and pay for the shipping. But I Googled it last night and realized that it was sold in Sephora. <laughs> and so I just walked to the Sephora that's near me and I got it. And I actually really like it, mainly because it's unscented. So I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like my lotions to be scented because I don't want it to clash with my perfume or anything else. Sorry, there's a car outside. <laughs> um and it's a really good formula and i've been wanting to find a good body lotion because i was talking about in my like new year's resolutions video who i wanted to take care i do so much with my skincare on my face but i don't take care of my skin on my body as much and that was like something i wanted to change so what i've been trying to do is like I definitely when i get out of the shower putting this on because that's like the most important time to put lotion on and like the best time and then also i've been trying to put lotion on before i go to bed because it's like you put lotion on your body like all over your legs your arms and when you like actually get into bed you know you're like under the covers and i feel like it just kind of like locks it in and just like nourishes your skin overnight so i feel like when i'm going to bed at night it's like a spa time <laughs> so yeah so this is really good um the formula is really nice it's not too like it's not even oily at all like you know how sometimes you put a lotion on and then your hands are just like eh? it's not like that it's fragrance free and yeah it's really good so i'm gonna start using this I feel like this is a whole product show and tell right now but okay and then i am so excited because there's this brand there's this girl violet or violet underscore fr on youtube she makes she's a makeup artist and she makes these really great videos she actually just came out with a makeup line this week i think on tuesday and i immediately bought everything and she and then i get my, like it made me start to watch all of her videos so then i was just like watching back some of them and she used to be like a beauty director at estee water and she was doing like a video with like how to do like a perfect red lip and in it she was doing like an eyeliner and i was like hmm, i don't have an eyeliner for my like my top lid that i really use i'm not wearing it right now but um the one that she used was the double wear stay in place eye pencil and this is in the color burgundy so it's like kind of it's not like a dark black it's like a brown and i thought that, that was nice it's a little bit more soft so i got it and i actually really like the formula it's like creamy and really easy to apply so i did that last night and i'm really liking that so i think i'm gonna do that from now on for like you know like dinners or something like just this with a red lip i feel like it's really cool and then and then I also got the Advanced Night Repair Serum. This is from Estee Lauder and it's really good also. It looks like this. You've probably like seen it before if you don't already use it. It is a very, very classic serum that has been around for a long time and is really popular. When I used to work at Saks Fifth Avenue off Fifth, every time that we would get this, it would immediately go out of stock and it was like, people love this. This and the Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream but I've never tried it, so I was like, I wanna try it. I tried it on the back of my hand and it seems really nice, so I'll let you guys know how it is. 
but yeah that's the update <laughs> okay so i think i'm just gonna throw a sweater on we're gonna go to brunch and yeah it's 12.09 gotta get ready for the day gotta make my bed <laughs> such a bad vlogger this weekend. I feel like this weekend has gone by and I just haven't really shown a lot of what I've been doing, mostly because I've been with other people and not everyone likes when they're being filmed. And also, uh, and also I really haven't done that much that was interesting. <laughs> like yesterday after we went to brunch, we went to like a wine shop and then we came back to Wilds and I think we just watched a movie. <laughs> we actually watched Miss Congeniality, which <laughs> is like one of my favorite movies. So that was fun. And just we just like ordered dinner and then yeah. And then this morning I made pancakes because it's Easter today, so happy Easter. And uh yeah, and I'm just kind of figuring out what I want to do for the day. I'm just like chilling in Nolita. Um but yeah, so I think there's a lot of like cute little stores. I don't know like what's open and what's closed because it's obviously it's Easter. But I really am in the mood to just like get new spring clothes and just check out what's new for spring. And so there's a Reformation I know I want to see if that's open. And then 
And then I just want to see if uh, this place that I tried to go a couple weeks ago, the hair shop, so they do like hair extensions and stuff. I want to see if they're open and if I can go there because I've been trying to go and it's like really important to me. So let's see if we can do that. Um, but yeah, let's just, let's just have a little fun Sunday. I went into a little grocery store to buy some water and and there's this woman selling flowers right when you walk in and I was like taking a video of it because I thought that they were so pretty and she just handed me these and said for you they're so pretty oh really oh thank you so much <laughs> that's so sweet and I thought that it was so sweet they're like so pretty they're little pink roses and a little bunny tail she said happy easter and i thought that that was just so sweet so yeah it's like morgan grand i think that like that's her instagram there but it was so kind of her so i think i'm just gonna put this in a little face i'm gonna do my skincare put some makeup on this face and get back out there I put my flowers in their vase. They look so pretty and I'm just so grateful that woman was so kind to give me the flowers. I did my skincare and makeup. I was feeling a light blue look today so I did some really light like light blue eyeshadow. I guess I'm just inspired this week by Violette <laughs> because she released her makeup line and she always does such bright fun colorful eyeshadow. So I used this one from Glossier. It's called Skywash and it's basically like a liquid eyeshadow that dries. And this color is called Pool. So yeah, it's like a, like a pastel blue. And I just really like it. It's subtle. But so anyways, yeah. I'm sitting here. I am eating Easter candy because my mom sent me an Easter basket. She is so sweet. Uh, and look at this card. <laughs> it's a little squirrel Easter bunny. It's like, I don't know how she found this card, but it is like the most perfect card ever. <laughs> so I'm just feeling so loved and I am eating all of my Easter candy. There's a chocolate bunny. There's... Cadbury eggs and just the whole thing so yeah I'm like sat kind of sad that I'm not spending Easter with my family at home I was just texting my mom and she was saying that they're gonna do a little dinner tonight and of course I'm not there so that's kind of sad but uh you know I guess that's adult life so 
Okay, so I'm going to go to this place called The Hair Shop, which Jasmine at Tribeca Salon that I go to told me about this place because I have very, 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 very fine hair. Like, baby fine and not a lot of pieces. <laughs> so, <sighs> yeah, it's... I just my whole life my hair has been such like a struggle for me and it's been like basically I think like my biggest insecurity is my hair and it's really just too bad because it's not like I've done anything wrong it's just like a genetic thing it's like that's just I just have thin fine hair so um so yeah I mean like I go to the salon I pay a lot of money to like you know get my hair to look as best as it can but at the end of the day it's there's just not a lot of it and you know in society we think that it's beautiful to have you know thick gorgeous locks which I just don't have so basically yeah so Jasmine told me about this place called the hair shop I was like where can I go in New York to get like I don't know like some type of like hair extensions or like a halo or like not like a wig but just like something that like I don't know some fake hair I can just like zhuzh up into there <laughs> And she recommended the hair shop. So I called to see if they're open today because it's a holiday. They said yes. They close at 5 and it is now 1. So I tried to go a couple weeks ago. I've been tr I've been meaning to go, but I've just kind of been a little bit scared because it's like, I don't know, my hair is like, I mean, it seems silly because it's just hair, but like it is a big deal to me and I feel like for girls in general, I've like had other chances to go, but like I just haven't gone. And then this last time I told myself like, okay, next time I get my hair done like when I get highlights again and I'm all bright then I'm gonna go to like close more closely match it to you know my hair now okay so we're gonna go I need to take an uber up there because it is uptown wish me luck <laughs> I just left the hair shop. I did buy some hair. <laughs> I met with Sonia, who was so, so nice. And she helped me pick out the right hair. I'll show you guys when I get back. Actually, I'll just show you right now. It looks like this. So basically, it's a little bit too long. So what I'm gonna have to do is go get it cut by um, a professional. So I'm gonna make an appointment and do that. And she said that I might need a few more pieces but to talk to my hairdresser about that if I need more pieces or not. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm like really happy. Obviously I'm not gonna be able to wear them until they're actually cut, but um, yeah, they're like totally human hair. I can curl them, straighten them, and I got like a flatter uh, clip, so uh, which is better on like fine hair so that when it you know goes down, you can't really see it. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, Yay, okay, I thought that was gonna be a lot harder. <laughs> but I'm glad that it's done. So I think that there's a Trader Joe's around here. So I actually brought, oh no, actually I didn't bring enough bags. Oh well, I might need to buy bags. Well, yeah, so I'm gonna go to the Trader Joe's. And yeah, so I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and get some groceries and then take an Uber back home. And yeah, I think that's it.
kitchen floor. <laughs> so I was too excited not to try my hair shop extensions. So I basically pulled out two of them already and put them in even though they're not the right length. So yeah, as you can see, I have like one here in the front right now, which like all of this back here is my actual hair. And so this is like just a couple inches too long. So I'm just gonna need them to be cut like about there-ish. And then same on the other side. I have one like down here, oh, <laughs> like down here. But I can already feel like it adds a lot of, it, it's already adding like a good amount of volume and I'm excited to get them cut to the right length. That way it looks a little bit more natural. <laughs> And yeah, I already feel like this just adds so much more like volume to my hair and she matched them in like the exact perfect color. It's crazy. And I really like the fact that they have such a thin like weft at the top where the clip is because the ones that I've had in the past are like really, really thick and it's great because it's thicker like the hair is thicker but at the same time it's tough because when i've been wearing them all day my head starts to get really sore because it's so heavy and it's like pulling down on my hair which is not good for your scalp long term so i'm excited that these ones are really light i was worried about them being so light if they would still give enough body and i think that they do so yeah i already called and made an appointment with jasmine to have them cut <laughs> So I'm really excited for that and I think I'm just going to wear them so much. And the thing is, is like the last time I got hair extensions was when I was turning 18 and I visited New York just because, and yeah, it was just like me and my mom in the city because I was actually in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I was cheerleading and obviously it's my birthday around the time of the parade because it's around Thanksgiving. And so for my birthday, my mom took me to get like custom made hair extensions and I used those for years. I loved them and really gave me a lot of confidence um, with my hair using them. But the thing is, is at this point I've had them for so long and when I did pageants, I wore them like practically every day the year that I was Miss White Mountains region. So I kind of like fried them a little bit, which is too bad. So I needed some new ones. And yeah, I'm really excited about these ones and like, huh, I feel like hair gives us so much confidence as girls, so um, not that it needs to or not that it should at all, but um, you know, it's the little things I guess. So yeah, I'm excited to get these cut and like actually be able to do stuff to my hair and feel better about it from all angles. So, <sighs> okay, I have now reached the time of a day where... I'm feeling very lazy. <laughs> like, I know that there's stuff that I need to do, but I'm kind of like, meh. Like, I just wanna relax, because I feel like I work so nonstop during the week, and then on the weekends, it's like I'm trying to fit in everything in. Like, you know, when I see, when I hang out with Lyle, and when I see friends and stuff, and I just feel like I'm constantly moving, and I'm constantly busy, and my body just feels exhausted like it feels like i need to just take a really long nap so what i'm thinking is to motivate myself i think what i'm gonna do is actually write down a to-do list of all the things that i want to accomplish try to accomplish as much as i can between now and then and then go to bed early and actually get like a nice long good night's sleep before starting the work week and starting everything all over again. Where is my paper? Oh, it's right here. So I have a little notepad right here. I'm just gonna write down a realistic list for myself, not like a crazy, like, you know, do all of these things <laughs> list, but just like a things I think I can get done. And then I'll feel it, cause then it'll make me feel like I've accomplished things and I can let my mind settle. So I'm going to think about what I need to do and then get going on those things. The good thing is that I've already done grocery shopping and that's usually like a big activity on Sundays. Uh, so
to-do list is editing this vlog, of course, to go up tomorrow. Working out, like doing a workout, shower, make slash eat dinner, do some hand washing. I have a huge pile of clothes I need to hand wash. Brainstorm a video that I'm going to do for this Thursday. I need to wash slash freeze the berries that I bought. I need to order some storage things for my bathroom. I need to vacuum and I want to read this book that I got that is a wine book because I'm trying to learn a little bit more about wine. So, okay, let's do it. <laughs> exhausted to even hold my arm up. I ate dinner, I did a workout, I cleaned, I vacuumed, I'm feeling good. Uh, now I just need to get some rest for work to start a new work week tomorrow. I know you guys know that feeling when like the Sunday scaries when you're starting a new work week. Womp, the weekend is over. But the sooner I go to bed and we start this week, the sooner we can do another vlog for next weekend. <laughs> so, all right. I'm too, I'm clearly, I am overtired and I need to go to bed. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Definitely don't forget to subscribe and check out the Fashion Squirrel. And hopefully, I will see you guys next time. Okay. <laughs> Bye.